growth, boosting economic growth, and improving people's livelihood. But he also stresses that... Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm out in my workshop, and I got my setup with my newer computer and the latest version of SDR Uno connected to my RSP Duo which now has two antennas connected to it. It has um, my 31 foot vertical antenna and my infed antenna from MFJ. And on tuner one is the 31 foot vertical, which is what I'm connected to right now. And on tuner two is the infed. And I had turned on um, the diversity option that takes the two antennas and the two receivers and tries to combine them to give the best signal to noise ratio. And I'm tuned to 9.570, which should be China radio coming out of the Middle East. I think it's Albania or someplace in the Middle East. Um, and that's what you were listening to, and it's coming through pretty good. I now have uh, Mike Ladd, who does a great job of supporting SDR Play, uh, had, had generated in the past a bunch of memory files. Some, most of these are his, about 25% oh, of mine. And he just did an update to his files, so I'm downloading his files. I have to convert them because he sets his files up to use the high Z input to the duo. Um, and I usually don't have an antenna on the high Z. Uh, like I say, my vertical antenna is on the um, tuner one. So I have to modify each of these files of his. And I've done a couple. Plus, I moved over some of the files I had generated that was on my computer up in my office. And so they are now available. So I got all these computer files, memory files, so that I can uh, scan the bands and literally use a scan function and scan the bands. So I'm using my 31 meter um, chunk of the EIB Mammoth database. I, I actually went beyond 31 meters. I think I went down to uh, let's see, went to down to 9.4, and up to how high did I go? Uh, 9.99. And so these are all the stations that are in um, in that EIB file. This is this particular file I used was from couple of months ago so it's a little bit outdated so we can come up here and we can do a scan and we'll see what happens I've got it to set to um, pause for five seconds when it finds a uh, signal above I think minus 80 dBm so there we go using tuner one the 31 foot vertical antenna. Mucho de desastre, violenta piel. Así me vivo, muriendo desde la vida cotidianas muertes y en aquella presencia de. We should be taking in recent years. For example, we have laws and a preferential policy. Posteriormente inició su carrera en la función pública y ha sido delegado de Estados Unidos. Vamos a tener mesas redondas muy interesantes sobre cine y educación. You can see it scanned quite rapidly.
Millionary history. Okay, that's back. History. Okay, it's back to China Radio. Now, um, I will turn on the diversity option, and this is the diversity window, which gives you an indication of what it's trying to do with those two inputs. So let me turn that on and see well let me up let me just do this first let me let you listen to the single input which is my best antenna which is my 31 foot vertical let me let you listen each of the scene has had a, its own experience each of the scenes had its own characteristics obviously when we talk about beijing we're talking about the center of political power when we talk about Shanghai, we're talking about the center of economic power. Well, you can hear this coming in quite well, and the signal to noise ratio is down, oh, in the 20s. So it's very good. Now let's just try, again, single tuner. I'll try tuner 2, which has the MFG infed antenna. And, of course, we've got a lot of variables here. we got the coax. we got where the antennas are. The infit is horizontal. The vertical, of course, is vertical. We got a lot of variables here. So let's try the infit. I'll turn the audio back on. Okay, as you could hear, um, not doing too good there. And matter of fact, on the little spectrum down here, you can barely see the signal. And the uh, the signal to noise ratio is down so far because there's not much of a signal. So that's that antenna is not doing too good. So if I use the diversity option with those two antennas, um, it's probably going to be worse than just with the vertical. We'll try it. Okay. So we'll go back to vertical first. Vertical only. Play it for a few seconds. I would like to reiterate that Hong Kong offense are purely China's internal offense, and we will accept no foreign interference. Good, strong signal, easy to understand. So now we'll go to diversity mode, and we'll turn mute off. Now, I had been playing with this a few minutes ago, and I turned off the auto mode, and I manually, I'll say tuned, by using the arrow and then moving this around here. And that's selecting how the two signals are mixed. I don't know the details of that. I don't know exactly how it works. But then I can say apply auto mode and then the software is now finding the best, best mix. And you can see it's up in this quadrant here, whatever that means. Let's unmute. Saying that it played a significant role in China's enormous transformation over the past 70 years. Our correspondent Gao Junyup has more from Zimbabwe. I'm going to and I the Okay, you can see that it's struggling, and it's probably struggling because that input from the infed antenna is not a very good signal, and it's actually corrupting the other one. So it's not helping, it's corrupting. Again, this is not even close to the ideal configuration that you should have when trying to use this diversity mode. Um, I believe, and, I, and I, I don't have any detailed information to tell me, I'm just kind of speculating here, is I think you want two similar antennas that are... Um, a half wave or a quarter wave apart and then maybe one's vertical one's horizontal i'm not sure exactly what the physical 
configuration which would be best to use this option. I just don't know. I just took two of my antennas, hooked them up. And like I say, there's lots of variables. Uh, the horizontal antenna is pointing northwest, which means the signals would come in perpendicular to that, which means it would come in from the southwest. No. Yes, southwest. So since this is coming probably from the Middle East, that's probably good good position. Now the vertical antenna, of course, is much higher. The horizontal antenna is only about 15 feet in the air. The tip of the vertical is 31 foot feet. So that's a difference. So I don't know if using the diversity mode for this antenna setup is really going to help much with this with this particular signal. Now maybe another signal, a different frequency, it would work better. The infed antenna is tuned for 40 meters, which we're not close to 40 meters. Um, the vertical is also tuned to 40 meters. Yes, I believe it's also tuned to 40 meters. So they're both tuned to 40 meters. I'm not on 40 meters. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and forth a little more. I'll, I won't talk. I'll just let you listen and watch for the next few minutes. Here we go. Diversity mode. But in fact, China has admitted that the answers came every generation because they've been changing. And what they're doing now is different from 1960. So they understand that uh, development is dynamic. Was he all right? Okay, you can see in this auto mode, it's trying to find the best match. I think it's trying to find the combination of those two signal signals which give you the lowest signal to noise ratio. Now, let me try it manually. So it's over in this area here to where it wants to be. So I'm going to turn the audio back on and then I'm going to turn this auto off and then change it manually away around the whole uh, circle. Okay, here we go. Mute. Unmute. Okay, I'll go back to auto. Let it decide what to do. Well, that's good. Okay, it looks like the length of this pointer, I'll call it. Uh, no, it's not. I'm trying to figure out. I noticed the length was changing, and I thought it would. Okay, I think it is. Okay, I think it's the reverse. I think the longer it is, the lower the signal to noise ratio. So when the signal to noise ratio goes up, I think it shortens down. I think. I'm guessing here. 
and maybe Mike can, Mike Ladd can correct me. So now let's go to a different sigma. Let's, matter of fact, let's go to a different band. Um, let's go to the 49 meter band. So I'll select that database and I'll scan. Okay, I was going to stop there, but they were playing music. Okay. Let's stop there. Let's go to probably 5935. So let's go to 35. Take mute off. I'm going to look at Sure. Uh, right back to the garden. I am convinced yeah. that this is well, so auxiliary. Yeah, this. Um, nice channel radio. Awesome. But presentation. I'm struggling. Or the radio is struggling. Uh, okay, so let's turn In off way, shape, or form, whether that diversity. Was, fruit, a, an Go back to single. Harvest, however you want to phrase it, it was yeah, an see? offering unto the Lord. So from that antenna, not, and this is another very useful thing about the RSP Duo, is you can have the two antennas on the two receivers. The two receivers should be the same. Um, and check antenna performance and you know, of course antenna plus cable import and performance so right now uh, on these particular frequencies that vertical is doing a lot better job which has always been the case that vertical I think it's because it's 31 the tip of it is 31 feet in the air always does a much better job than any of my other antennas now what I can do and I don't have them right here at hand. I could switch, take the infed out, and put another antenna. I have a, about five or six coming into my workshop, and see if it does better than the infed. And does it improve? It does it improve the performance in diversity mode. So we can play with that uh, on another show. But at least I got everything working. Um, I'm not too impressed with diversity mode with the setup I've got. Like I say, I'm sure it's not the best setup for using diversity mode. That's it. That's all I can think of. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. And have a great day. Bye-bye.